Hello everyone. We are continuing the Power Query Editor related discussion for Power BI. In the previous chapter, we learned about renaming operations. In this chapter, we will learn about changing data types of a column in Power Query Editor. So all these steps can help you in transformation of your data as per your requirement. And here we are going to learn that. So for example, we'll consider a very simple table here, that is a student table. So first we will open Power BI desktop and connect this table. Currently we have no data selected. We can simply go to transform data tab to open the Power Query Editor, you can see. And from here we can connect the new source, which is our CSV file and the csv file is known as pq edit student so you can try this on any other example this is just something that you are going to learn to understand so here first of all you can see the delimiter is comma why the delimiter is comma because if you will edit this in notepad okay, you will see all the column names are you know provided with comma separated values it can be tab delimited it can be colon delimited there can be a lot of conditions so you have to check how is it uh, delimited and then you can see now once the data is loaded from power query editor you can click ok and after clicking ok here you have to check that all your columns are proper and their data types are proper so you can right click here and you can change type so you can see whole number is checked okay so student id because it is unique for every student it should be whole number this should be check text you know so that's why you have to check if it is not text if you have to change it to something else then you can change it like that grade here is whole number let's say there can be some other values which are not whole number but you know decimal numbers so you can change the data type to decimal numbers when you will change a column data type the selected column has an existing type conversion would you like to replace the existing conversion or preserve the existing conversion so it is asking you to replace current or add new step okay so we will replace current we will not add extra steps and now you can see in the icon you can see 1.2 okay now another interesting thing that we can see here is in exam date currently only 15 16 17 and 18 are appearing 15 16 17 and 18 okay let's close and apply for now when you will close and apply you will see that uh, this table will be loaded in your power query and here we have exam date which is being read as date here and what when you will expand this you will see the exact hierarchy so even though there it was appearing like that here you can see it that it has the hierarchy for you okay what you can do is you can create a table view simple a tabular view and in your tabular view you can try to select the exam date and grade okay so you will see 15 november quarter 3 16 november so on so you have to check and since uh, date is created in uh, ddmmyy format so it is appearing correctly so we have a dedicated playlist for power bi dax related queries also so in dax related queries we also explain how you can change the format of a date okay that is something that you can do in power bi uh, dax itself but at transform level when you are transforming data you have to make sure suppose you don't want this date to appear as a date i'm just giving you an example here and later you will convert it into date 
using power uh, bi dax query or dax functions so you can right click and change data type to text then you will see that it will give you the date in the same format where you were which we were seeing in your csv file okay we can uh, change it again back to date and sometimes it happens is uh, although it's a date value sometimes in your example a date time column will be given okay it will be something like this and 11 15 or something a date time value will be given okay which will have hours minutes and seconds so if date time is given and somehow it is not being read properly by power query editor so that's why uh, it is not being read properly so that's why in power query editor you can right click here and change it to date time okay and now it will by default it will pick 00, 00 am and what you will see in your if you will close and apply what you will see in your example is so then obviously it is zero zero otherwise you will see hours month apart from year quarter month and day you will also see hours seconds also so that is something that you can do so this is a very simple example of changing data types in power query editor you can change it as per your requirement sometimes integers might be read as a text sometimes text might be read as an integer you know there can be different cases for example postal code or something uh, might be read as a integer value or a whole number value but uh, you don't want it to appear as a whole number value because you don't want any type of mathematical or statistical functions to be applied there so that's why it is very important